In this brief video, I'm going to demonstrate how to publish MATLAB output results in HTML. This was introduced in recent versions of MATLAB and is a very nice way to distribute output, especially to people who don't have MATLAB. So this publishing approach is done right from the editor, from the M file editor. <clears throat> And let me just show you when you say file, you can do publish to HTML or are there other options? HTML, XML, LaTeX, a Word document, and PowerPoint. Today I'm just going to demonstrate the HTML. But before I do that, let me um, go back and demonstrate about cells. So there is a new, in the, in the recent version of MATLAB, there's a new um, menu item called cell. First you have to make sure it's enabled. Once it's enabled, you can create these cells, um, and then you can actually do evaluation uh, based on, uh, you, you can evaluate all the statements in a cell, for example, and that's a whole other element of the benefit of cells. And um, you can increment uh, parameters and, and, and the like by, this, by using these cells. Um, but I'm not going to talk about that here. Um, <clears throat> there is a way to insert text markup, and you can create the title of a cell, add equations, and the like. Okay, uh, the basic idea is a is a double percent sign like this creates a title. So this uh, is a title for my script, and a cell is everything until we get to the next title command, the next double percent sign. So. This thing, which is here, is somewhat yellow. I hope you can see that. is a, is a cell, and for me, it's just setting up a few input parameters for what it ends up being a Monte Carlo analysis. Then I create a new cell, and I set up some um, additional input variables. Then I do the calculation in this third cell, and then look at output in the fourth cell. <clears throat> One nice thing about uh, these cells and the publishing of the cells is you can include equations in LaTeX and other LaTeX formatting commands. So this double dollar sign creates a LaTeX equation and then I create the equation that I use to calculate this force. Okay, But now um, what I do is I go up and I say file publish the HTML and what we get is this. So this is a simple um, web uh, browser essentially that's just formatting the HTML. We see uh, the title of the first cell script to do Monte Carlo analysis of a cantilever beam. We see the input and then we see the output. If I'd use semicolons the output would be suppressed. Then here's the second cell um, set up random inputs and here they are and notice I use semicolons here so the output doesn't show up. Here's my little LaTeX equation that demonstrates the the equation used to calculate these displacements and then the outputs and again no semicolon so here's the output the minimum of my randomly distributed displacements the maximum the mean the standard deviation and then it even puts the plot right embedded in the HTML and I see the histogram of the plot so if I do this in Word it's similar notice um, I didn't mention that the table of contents comes up so I can jump directly to the output um, if I do it in Word, it looks similar. I, I think it doesn't format great in Word, but it does all right. PowerPoint is an interesting way also to publish. Um, and then I haven't tried the XML, actually, so I'll leave that up to you. All right, so that's basically how it's done, and feel free to take advantage of it. Thanks.